Look at that. We got dinner, y'all. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Yes, sir. All right, y'all, so we got a special guest to the channel today. I got my neighbor from right next door, Mrs. Robinson, right? Now, Miss Robinson, we become really good friends because we got two things in common. We both love to eat fish. So I'm gonna introduce y'all real quick to Miss Robinson. Go on and say hello. Hello, how are ya? And she repping in university. Yes. That's another good thing. Tuskegee University, the Golden Tiger, right here. T-U. T okay, tell them, Miss Robinson. You know. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, so look. I read all the comments, y'all been asking for it, and so I'm getting ready to do a clean cook video for you guys. I got a couple special little treats here in the igloo. I'm about to pull them out. We're gonna knock the sides off these bad boys, then I'm gonna show y'all what I like to do with them in the kitchen. This is called, folks down here just call them Stripe. Okay, yeah. This yeah. guy right here. Uh -huh. They're really, really good. The key, the key with them though is two things. When you catch them, you gotta get him on ice quick. Can't He can't be getting all warm and, and all of that. You gotta get him on ice quick and then, when you clean him, he has what's called, um, we call it red meat. But really what it is, it's like a fat storage on the outside of the, of the filet. Yeah. And you just go through there really good, which I get it all doctored up for you. Yeah. I go through that really good and get all that red meat out. It's legit. Yeah. Okay. And you can yeah. fry it, you can fry it too, the old fashioned way. Yeah. But just to give myself a break from eating fried fish all the time, Tanisha got a really good recipe to blacken it. Okay. And it's, it's really good. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can turn it. Yeah. We'll hook you up. So, I'm going to knock the sides off these bad boys here real quick. And then we're going to go from there. All right, guys. Tools of the trade. Nice sharp knife right here. I got a Dexter Russell. That's a really good brand knife. Uh, if you guys are looking for a good fillet knife. I usually use my electric fillet knife. But since I'm only cleaning two fish and they're relatively, you know, got some good size to them. I like an old fashioned just fillet knife because I can get in there and, and cut it out a little bit better. Uh, I got a fillet cutting board. I got my igloo ice chest that stores all my catches. Got to keep them suckers cold. That's key. With striped bass, if you don't put them on ice relatively quick, especially if the water temperature is in the 70s at all, it's not going to be good. Immediately get them bad boys on ice, get them to the house, get them cleaned, and it'll be, it'll be awesome. Without further ado, let's introduce our first guest now these aren't terribly big and i don't recommend eating the terribly big ones but you know this is like a, a four and a half pound bass you know give or take that's about the size i like to eat you can you can eat them up to 10 12 pounds but there are fish out there in that 15 20 pound class i won't eat those i'll put those fish back um that's the breeding stock for one and for two they're really just not that great eating to be honest with you these smaller ones are going to be much much better so in my opinion this is what I like. We're gonna go ahead and chop this bad boy up, get it all doctored up, ready for the kitchen, and we'll be checking back in with you guys shortly. Chill up, ice in the bowl. See this bowl? When I get my fillets nice and cleaned up, I'm gonna put them in this bowl. I'll put a little bit of that ice in there to keep those fillets nice and cold. Key, key little point right there. All right, guys, so just like that, you can see I got in there real good. Another thing you can do really good with an old school fillet knife like a Dexter Russell, I can follow the contour of that bone structure real good. So I can roll it over, maximize your cut. Electric knives are a little bit harder to control. So again, that's why we went with the old fashioned one. So we're gonna go ahead and de-skin this fish and I'm gonna try to miss some of that. Look at that. So that's the back side of that filet. I did really good on that. We only got just a little bit of red meat right here, which I'll go back through with that Dexter Russell and I'll get that out. All right guys, so I'm just getting this filet real clean. And after I get this all this red meat off, I'm gonna rinse it, water really good, and then we'll be ready to go ahead and start seasoning. All right, I like to have this nicely coated evenly as possible because I'm gonna have that skillet really, really hot and I wanna make sure that sticks and stays on there and that flavor is captured inside that fish. And obviously, you wanna season both sides of the fish. <laughs> so now we're done, we're just gonna flip it over. I just 
turning the stove on. I'm getting this cast iron skillet. I really like to cook with cast iron. Some of my younger followers, y'all probably know what that is. Ask your grandma. Cast iron cooks legit. I'm letting that skillet get really, really hot because again, we're blackening this. It's only gonna stay on each side, maybe two to two to two and a half minutes. You're likely to see a little smoke. Don't panic. That's just part of it. Put a little butter in there. I like to use butter. You might be an olive oil person or an avocado oil or whatever you might like. Grapeseed oil. I like to use butter. I'm not gonna use too, too much, but I'm gonna use a little bit of butter. Get that flavor in there. Two and a half minutes. Let's go. Hmm, you see that caramelization on the sides right up and through there? Yes, sir. Those are green onions. I was supposed to be putting green in there. Now I gotta sweep up the golly, they're still falling. In there like my boy Bay Salt or Salt Bay or whatever name. And I done dropped all my green onions on the floor. So I'm gonna just do it normal. Right, and that's just for the visuals, you know what I'm saying? Just to cap it off, just a little, ooh, what y'all know about that, boy? Hey, listen, you got catch and release, and then you got catch and deceased. That's what that is. Dang. 